What's going on, boys? The long awaited, it's finally here. I'm gonna call it NCAA because that's what my heart said. Some people are gonna call it college football, it's the same to all of us. Y'all know my favorite team, Alabama Roll Tide. This is episode one, no money spent. I got all my pre order stuff, I haven't even opened it yet. I wanted to save it for y'all on the two. We're gonna go through. I'm going to show you what I'm spending my points on. And obviously, we're going to build a team from that point. Episode two is going to be what to do first in, in, in NCAA in terms of a no money spend. You guys kind of got an understanding. I got to get my head wrapped around it because there's house rules. There's basically weekend league. If you played Madden, if you new here, hit the like button, drop a sub. We do no money spend on Madden. We're going to do no money spend on NCAA. And obviously, we're going to do some dynasty related content as well because that's near and dear to my heart. But without further ado, for the first time in over 10 years, no money spent, college football. Let's get into it. Hey, ain't we been through it all? Then we sleep on them floors. Everybody we thought we needed, we don't need them no more. Run it up, check the score. No one balling on niggas. All right, boys, here we go. We got challenges, solo seasons, solo battles, head to head, house rules, practice, live events this is where you go about your objectives and obviously you can see your season and you can see your or orientation which orientation just basically means introduction and then you have your season objectives as well with challenges house rules such and such and such and such we have the marketplace which that's where we're going to end up first and then we have the team the team is looking very very suspect at the moment but that's okay we haven't really done anything i wanted to bring this live for real and direct to you guys i'm going to go into the store now and show you what i'm going to spend my points on Okay, as you can see, we got our pre-order points, 4,600 up top. Now, most people will try to save their points, which could have some validity to it. Me, I'm trying to get the greatest cards or the greatest offers as possible, right? Now, these starter burners, junior burners, look, if you're going to spend money on NCAA, y'all know me. I don't count people's pockets, right? You do what you do. But what we're going to do, we're going to do a rare platinum pack. That's 2,800. Two weekly platinum packs. That gives us 3,800. Um, and then there was something else I wanted to do as well. Um, a booster pack, which gives us 43. And then there was a 300. And then we're going to do a 10 recruit pack. Now, the only reason I'm doing this so I can get down to 4,600 exact. And I have no more points up in the corner. So later on, we can't say, oh, why do you have points in the corner? How are you no money spent? You know what I'm saying? We're not doing that. All right. So here we go. First pack here. Like I said, this is just me opening up straight away. Y'all can see I'm at zero. I don't even know what we're going to look at here. So let's just open up these packs. If we get something good out of these packs, that would be fantastic. Now, I know blue is like an elite, but that's not an elite. And that's okay. That's completely fine. It's not an elite. We're all good. Let's keep it moving. Let's keep it moving. If we get an elite in this, that would be fantastic. If we get a gold, which that's in Madden terms, but in NCAA, it's green. Um, I expect us to get... All, all grace and that's okay that's gonna be completely fine like i said i'm doing this more so there's our first goal tight end okay not bad and then obviously we're gonna go through our pre-order stuff i'm gonna based off what i get out of this stuff right that will determine what i pick out of my pre-order stuff i'm doing this first because the pre-order stuff is already predetermined on who we're gonna get out of that right we know who it is we just got to see how the rest of our team fills out first and then we can go into the pre-order points now i apologize for not being on twitch obviously y'all know I do have a real life job that I have to go to. So wasn't able to be on here on launch in terms of Twitch, but was able to get this video out to you guys. Hopefully you guys are seeing this a couple hours after launch is what I hope. So our packs kind of mid to be completely honest, but it was expected. Let's see what we can get out of this. Essentially, this is our 68 plus. Okay, that's an elite 80 Kobe McKenzie. Now in NCAA, if you didn't know, linebackers kind of have built in lurk artists so they can lurk. So we're going to go with, we're going to go with the elite. We're definitely going to go with the elite. That's a W that was out of a 68 plus. As you can see up there, we got an 80. The pack Kings already starting stuff. The allegations will never cease no matter what game I'm on. All right. And then we're going to go this, the bear booster pack contains 270 overall uncommon players, 273 plus in an 80 overall B and D player. Again, the main reason I'm doing this y'all is so I can get down to zero points in the upper left hand corner. So in the later parts of the years, okay devin boyd will de a we'll take strong safeties now i don't know if that's our b that is our bnd i see it right there if you can see it right in the little corner um another middle linebacker we'll take that these are our 73 pluses i'm guessing and this would be our 70 pluses 
okay not bad absolutely not bad so we got a receiver not that fast free safety kind of fast tight end yuck but we did get a strong safety so that's a w that's an absolute w now we're going to get into what everyone wants to see the platinum pack so let me go over to future Fe excuse me feature or is it premium sorry boys we're just we're just navigating the menus just like everyone else is so y'all gonna have to bear with me as i get through this so maybe it's in feature uh there it is so we're gonna do our we have 30 100 points we're gonna do two weekly platinum packs and then we're gonna do our rare platinum packs and then we'll get into the pre-order packs so let's see can we get a blue blue is what we're looking for okay all right now the thing to do with these chat i wouldn't recommend quick selling them right away what i would recommend is putting them on your team because they have value for ever right so as long as they have value you will kind of never be broke now i'm gonna take him because he's 79 now i apologize if y'all hear my kids in the background obviously you know it's school holidays in australia so let me keep going um bear with me one quick moment all right y'all we are back um apologies had to go into daddy mode real quick y'all know what it is um second weekly platinum pack now we didn't get a elite in the first one that's okay we did get a 79 left guard that's why i ended up taking let's see if we can get an elite out of this one can the pack look go great no 77 men linebacker kai Drain jenkins um 77 left in we haven't been getting very glitchy thus far and another middle linebacker i'm gonna take the left end because we got the 80 overall b and d uh, b and d middle linebacker or the 80 overall middle linebacker before so we'll take that now the last but not least 2800 points gets us down to zero and we will be not spending any more points now obviously we'll be trying to make coins we putting out methods and all that different type of stuff throughout the year we get one left guard okay look it's a quick sale it's a left guard i'm gonna take that not too bad we got a cornerback all right 78 speed not too bad you know them lsu boys are always fast we got a right in now i wish we can get more blues another cornerback slot cornerback not too bad and walk off that's a w so we've gotten two strong say we gotten two safeties a free safety and a strong safety so the back end of our secondary is kind of complete i'm gonna generate the team first we're gonna have a look at it and then we get into our pre-order stuff all right boys so i generated the team offensive line we got two good offensive linemen we don't got a quarterback we don't got a running back we actually don't have a receiver but the defense is looking special the defense is absolutely looking special now we got they got this guy playing out of position but we're gonna put him he's gonna uh when we're talking about dan jackson he's gonna play corner for us he's a hundred i mean safety for us he's 100 percent gonna be play safety for us we got two good corners we got some good defensive linemen so let's get into the pre-order packs i kind of have an understanding of who i'm gonna take moving forward um but yeah let's get into it okay mvp bundle here is our pre-order i'm actually gonna get a if y'all don't mind just give me a second i'm gonna get a screenshot of that so we got the bring glory home pack mvp pack heisman hopeful alva mater ultimate alumni pack and cover athlete pack now bring home glory pack i believe would just be jerseys right i'm pretty sure this is just jerseys yep just bring home glory um glory jerseys next is the mvp pack which i believe this would be joe burrow who's going to be our qb1 for you know the foreseeable future so that's a w joe burrow qb1 excellent kind of glad we didn't get a, a qb in our, our pack openings right because obviously we knew we were going to pick joe burrow heisman hopeful pack now for me right going into this i was going to take um excuse me caleb downs but because of my pre-order stuff and how that went i don't really have a cornerback i have two good safeties um uh, we're taking uh will johnson we're absolutely taking will johnson i, I have the two corners i need a third corner there you go we're definitely 100 percent taking will johnson i think the team is really really coming together um and like i said i'll have a video probably out tomorrow morning about what to do first in terms of ultimate team Mo most of y'all will probably know now i don't know what to pick out of this i'm gonna go with my heart i'm an alabama fan i'm gonna go the sec pack there probably is a different pack i couldn't see anywhere before recording this of what to see what was in each pack so I'm just going with the SEC pack because that's what we're going to do. So we got LJ McCrary, Travis Etienne, 
which could which could end up being not a bad pick um he is an absolute monster because if we pick him then i could take travis hunter as my wide receiver one so let's keep going and see what we get jackson dart we don't need a quarterback um who is alabama getting out of this um Caden proctor left tackle yeah bro i'm not taking the left tackle who i think i'm gonna take chat so it's either taking etn or i take donovan edwards right so it's either i take the receiver here now let me see if i can compare these guys and see what their height so this guy's 6'3 with 81 speed i don't know we may end up taking him sam porter we may end up taking sam porter and then taking donovan edwards out of our creator or do we take travis Etienne and and then take um homeboy travis hunter not entirely sure not entirely sure what we do in terms of this um let me check nick harbour he's a deep threat does he have a little bit more speed six five ninety seventy nine speed interesting interesting i want to go with travis hunter um i do want to go with travis hunter that's what my heart says obviously being you know a big time Dion fan trying to you know hype up colorado the thing about travis hunter is that his higher overall card looks so much better than his lower overall card and so obviously that's something we may want to go we could take a corner but we already got three solid corners one good corner will johnson and two um gold corner so i think what we're going to take we're going to take a receiver um and then i think we're going to take sam Porter because he's 6'3 with 81 speed and then we're going to take donovan edwards out of our pre-order so that's what we're going to do yes i could have took caden proctor to left tackle which we will in, at some point in terms of the alabama theme team but i got to try to build the best possible team right now so i can get into doing house rules and all these other things which we'll talk about and what to do first in that so this is what the alumni pack so now we could take Kenyon mitchell um pay, i don't we're not taking michael penix we're not taking blake corum um uh, we could take a adion mitchell too we could take jc latham there or we could take cooper DeGene. now we have our two corners um or three corners i kind of do need another receiver um i actually i kind of want to go brock powers too but i know there's their, that free tight end you get at a later stage i may come back to this i may come back to this and see where we're sitting at with the alumni pack so just bear with me let's go to the cover athlete pack and see who we're getting out of here we know who we're getting because we already got a receiver we're going to go with donovan edwards if you watch any gameplay or anything on donovan edwards you know he's been going crazy in terms of his build so we still have this alumni pack so we might as well while we're here try to see what we can do with it let's go through we did get that 73 overall tight end right but do i want to use it on brock bowers or do i want to use one of those do i want to get a better corner in Kenyon mitchell i think that's the only thing i'm really looking at because i got my two safeties if i'm running nickel i do need three good corners I could pick Jordan Morgan as well because my left side is a little bit weak, but I don't think pass rush is going to be that crazy to start the game. I could be wrong. Um, we could pick Jared Verse as well um, to boost up the D-line. I honestly don't know, y'all. I think I'm going to go with... I think I'm going to go with Brock Bowers. That was who I was going with to start the game was Brock Bowers. That was where my mind was at. I feel like he is a separator at his position compared to the next tight end you may feel something different but like i said it depends on your ultimate team packs and what you get now like i said i could take one of the linemen that would be great we could take ad um we don't need blake we don't need phoenix we don't actually don't need peyton so it's it's between those three to be honest and if you want to throw cooper de in there we can because he has 82 speed but i think brock power is going to be a difference maker for us on the offensive side of the ball and okay boys this is what the team looking like like i said getting brock bowers there was a huge upgrade because our next tight end was a 73 which you got there we got Edwards, um, we got Zimmerman. We, we only got really one receiver, so we probably could have gotten another receiver, but that's okay. We'll we'll work definitely with that. Don't you worry about that. Maybe we'll run this tight end, our third receiver. The defense is actually really good, though. We got Dean Jackson here. We got Boykins. We got two okay middle linebackers. We got three good, good corners. Defensive tackle is kind of weak, but that's okay. We'll move. We're a 75 overall to start off day one. Not really too bad. Next, we're going to get into challenges and things of that nature, and then I will come back with you with episode two of what to do on your, it technically be second day of Ultimate Team, but what I did on my first day of Ultimate Team. So, appreciate you boys. 
hope y'all ready for the journey we're, we're going no money spent because i know i don't know i don't like to give ea my money so let's get it boys i'm out roll tide deuces i guess that's hook em horns but you get what i'm saying